Hey kiddos, it's Miss S. Today, I thought it'd be fun to make a video about how to make a puppet. We're going to be making a bunny rabbit puppet using a spoon. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but things are starting to change outside. Do you remember when we talked about the seasons? We have four of them. Can you name them? If you said winter, spring, summer, and fall, you named all four seasons. Great job! Today, we're going to be talking about spring. It recently became springtime, and if you noticed, things are starting to change outside. It's starting to become warmer, we're starting to hear a lot of different animals, and see a lot of different animals. It's a pretty exciting time. I'm not sure if you've been outside and started to hear and see things yourself, but I noticed as I've been walking around recently that I'm starting to see a lot of different birds and also some bunny rabbits. That's why I thought it'd be fun for us to make one. You're going to need for this craft a plain piece of paper, some scissors, a spoon, something to color with. I use markers and crayons, whatever you prefer, and some glue. We're going to start by drawing our shirt. I'm gonna get a marker out of my bin. To start your shirt, start with a U. Once you have your U finished, you can go ahead and get started on the rest of your shirt. I'll show you when I'm finished. You can draw a shirt or a dress, whatever you want your bunny to wear. This is what my shirt looks like. Now you get to decorate your shirt however you want. You can use patterns, you can use colors, you can use whatever you want to make your shirt. You can use as many colors as you want and make whatever kind of pattern. When you're finished, you can start to cut it out. Let me show you mine. Now, the next step is I'm going to cut my shirt out. Be very careful. Think back to the first week of school. Do you remember when we were spending a lot of time in art class cutting and gluing? The skills that you learn then will help you with this art project now. Take your time. Some friends are going to take longer than others, and that's okay. Try to do your very best to cut on the lines. Now you can see that my shirt is all cut out. Our next step is to make some ears. Have you noticed that bunny rabbits have long ears? We're going to draw some bunny rabbit ears. What you're going to do is make a long, skinny U just like this. Then you're going to make another because bunnies have two ears just like people. When you're finished, it should look something like this. Now you're going to go ahead and cut those out too. Remember friends, it's okay if you make a mistake. Now I have finished cutting out two ears. Make sure you throw your scraps away when you're all finished. Now I have some ears and I have a shirt for my bunny. Now we're going to glue our ears. Take your glue stick, put a little bit of glue on the curved inside part of your spoon. It should look like this. I use purple so you can see. Next, take your bunny's ears and glue them onto the spoon. When you're finished, it should look like this. We're going to glue our shirt on. On the flat part of the spoon, the back side of the handle, we're going to put a little bit of glue, just like this. Can you see? We're going to take our shirts and we're going to push, 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 push them on. Push, 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 push. Now you can see that my bunny has a shirt. Our next step is we're going to give our bunny a face. I'm going to use blue for my bunny's eyes, but 
which you can use whatever color you'd like. I'm also going to use pink for the nose, but again, you can use whatever color you'd like. Give him a smile, and don't forget about some whiskers. If you've ever seen a bunny have pink on its ears, you can also add that to your bunny rabbit. When your bunny rabbit is all finished, it will look something like this. Yes. Thanks for making a bunny rabbit puppet with me. I hope you have a lot of fun playing with him for the rest of the day.